In order to have and keep the loudness under control within your program material, it's really important that you learn how to properly set the level meter panel inside Isotope 2. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly set the level meter panel to display exactly what you want to read. The level meter panel displays both instantaneous true picks and average RMS level for each channel of input audio up to 10 channels, including support for surround, which we have it over here, up to Dolby Atmos 7.1.2 channels configurations. By clicking on the option icon, you have access to the option panel, which will allow you to customize the level meter upon your preferences. In the meter display type, you can set the metering use for true peak meters. The available options include peak and RMS, which are the default one, and the K system. Under the scale menu, if you are in peak and RMS readings, you can select and choose between dB linear or dB nonlinear. This will decrease or increase the resolution of your meters. If instead you have set up the K system metering, this lets you select through the scale menu the K12, the K14, and K20. Now, the K system of metering was developed by the famous mastering engineer Bob Katz. The K12 system is meant for production, meant for broadcast. K14 system instead is meant for metering a little bit more compressed program material, such as music. Whether the K20 scale, it's meant for material to have a very wide dynamic range, like for example, classical music. Now, the great thing about the K system is that it has a certain amount of psychoacoustic built in in the metering. So it interprets audio a little bit more like our ears perceives it. The show peak hole determines if the peak hole display will be shown in the level meters. And this is also related to the peak hold time. The peak hold time cycles through different peak hold times, of course. The choice includes 200 milliseconds, 500 milliseconds, 1000 milliseconds. And if we set to infinity, the peak hold value will be held until we double click on the actual meter. The integration times only applies if the level meter displays RMS. It lets you display and specify the integration time for RMS calculation. In most RMS meter, the integration time is generally set around 300 milliseconds. The readout type determines the type of the text readout displayed above the pick indicators. The surround display format determines the display order of surround meters. The choice includes SIMPTY or FILM. And the color also lets you set the color preset for the level meter display, which in this case I'm a little bit more accustomed to green, so I'm going to leave it defaulted as green. Now that you have learned how to properly customize your level meter, next time when you're going to be working in Isotope, make sure to set up the correct option. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Ciao!